Hi, I'm Osiri Wisdom, the lead pastor of the Wisdom Place Church and the convener of the Father and Son Adventure and the Man Thing Summit events. This is 100 Days of Wisdom Season 6. Today is day 51. Wow. Guess what? The good news is that everything I have taught from the one to now and from now to the 100, they are packaged in this book, The Father and Son Adventure, 100 Leadership Values and Insight. Every good father need to teach the son today day 51 i'm talking about discipline discipline you know how they say discipline is the soul of an army you know how they say that discipline is what distinguishes one person from the other why do people succeed why do people fail the difference is the discipline that each person has developed in fact we are told that the difference in discipline in the lives of people will show in their habits because the purpose of habits is to produce a disciplined lifestyle and when you are disciplined your life is decorated when you are disciplined your life begins to show quite something different so a father needs to teach the son discipline these are a few things I think you need to know as a father you can have to interact with your son to encourage him to grow discipline. You know, number one, self-discipline is very important. He has to know that discipline is not just something that needs to be externally enforced. Because as a father, you will not always be there. The mother will not always be there. Teachers, elders will not always be there. He has to learn how to self-discipline himself. Number two is understand to be self-disciplined, you need self-control. You need to be able to control your emotions, control your words, control your actions, control yourself literally. If not, you're going to be torn into different direction. And so when you begin to grow in that, what happens is you're going to have some level of stability. And that thing that can help you to grow this discipline is that you must have a vision somewhere you are going to. You know, a wise man says something that touched me and I believe him. He said, give a man a vision, he will discipline himself. Then he says, those that don't have vision and that don't have discipline, therefore, they will always return back to their past. Do you see that? And that's why you see law enforcement agencies, when they arrest somebody and the person escape, you know what? They give him a few days. They will go back to the club or go back to the gang and they will always pick them back. Why? Because people always go back to their past, past failures, past, you know, uh, attitude, past mindset. If you don't have a vision that gets them disciplined to want to go more. You want your son to do more. You want your son to become more. I'm talking more about discipline in the book. When you read the book, amazing, you know, chapter, all right? So it's very important for you to also dis display that as a father. Show him that because that's how the son will begin to be disciplined in his time, how he uses his time, discipline, how he uses his even emotion, discipline, how he uses his words, discipline, how he uses resources, you know, it's basically Basically going to grow and become a more responsible man. Most responsible men are disciplined people. Discipline is the engine of greatness. I'm going to say that again. Discipline is the engine of greatness. You want to be a great man, you have to teach your son. It takes discipline for the guy to read exam and pass and concentrate. It takes him for him to be able to manage money when you give him his body house at the university. It takes discipline for him to be focused to achieve something significant. I want to encourage you as a father. Make sure that discipline is one of the things that you teach your son. I hope this blessed you. I'll see you tomorrow. Follow me on all my social media handles as displayed on the screen. Especially subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you can be blessed. I cherish you and I value. Don't forget your son will make you proud.